In this lesson, we'll cover plumbing and piping systems. So a piping system inside of Revit MEP is the essential part of any piping layout that you'll ever create. It basically allows you to separate your pipes into your systems. And those systems and pipes can be grouped by function, by what fluid they cover, what color or material they are. These piping systems belong to an order called a system classification. And these system classes are preset within Revit. For example, one of the system classes could be a domestic piping system, such as your domestic cold water or hot water systems in your home. It could be the sanitary lines, your waste lines. It also could be a fire protection system, such as a fire protection system for dry or other pre-action or wet environments. You can also have mechanical piping systems, such as your hydronic return and your hydronic supply lines for your heating and cooling. Now again, these are all system classes, and all of your piping systems belong to a class. You can create as many piping systems as you want, you can duplicate the existing ones, but what you can't do is add a new system class. The system classes are predefined. Now, one thing to note, if you do create a new piping system, whatever system class you add it to, it has to remain with that. If you add it to the wrong system class, you'll have to delete your system and recreate it. Let's look at some of the systems that are currently inside of Revit MEP in this example model that I have open. As you can see, I have a plumbing system laid out on my screen basically with waste lines from a men and women's restroom. There's also supply lines. You can see those in a red and a blue color. Now, to see some of the actual systems and what is available, let's look at our project browser in the lower left. So in the project browser, I'm going to scroll down till I get to my families, and then inside of families, I'm going to scroll even farther down till I get to piping systems. Go ahead and expand piping systems, and then below the piping system are actually some of these systems that I just mentioned. There's your domestic systems for hot and cold water. You also have your fire protection systems. You also have below that your hydronic systems. And there's specific systems that may have been duplicated for a specific level if there's differences between level to level within your actual Revit model. And these are just some of the systems within Revit. Again, you could take these duplicate them, and create your own new systems. So as a review, in this lesson, we briefly talked about plumbing and piping systems. We talked about what the systems contain and what their functions are. Basically, it's a way to manage all of the pipes within a system or systems by class, by material, by what water or what fluid they actually contain. Also, it's a way to actually organize these into different areas within your actual Revit MEP model.